from within Manage Websites, you see we're now in the Website tab. We can go through and go through to our Site Builder. So here we are in the Site Builder. Now there's a few core principles that we need to get to grasp with, first of all, before we delve into building a site, which will help us in the long term. So I'm just going to go through and explain those elements um, and that will help you in your future domain building career. So the first important element really that we have is we have two um, tabs here. The first one is the theme tab and the second one is the page tab. Now, the way that the Commission Siphon Site Builder works is essentially it splits your website into two layers, the theme layer and your page layer. Now, for whatever website, whatever page you're looking at, you'll always essentially have two layers. This is from purely from a, a building perspective. As a user of a website and the tra all the traffic that comes to your website, they won't see your website any different from any other website they, they view and see. But from a construction site building perspective, we split the site into two layers. Now your theme layer is essentially all your persistent elements that you see on every page of your site. So the design, you know, the background, uh, maybe a menu, um, maybe social widgets, such as a like, a Facebook like button, something that you want to see on every page of your site in exactly the same spot when we use our theme layer. Now I think that to choose our layers, we simply click the tab and although we didn't see any different really happen change here on our design area, we are now in our theme, we're in our, in our theme layer. And to simply select back, select back to our page, we select the page tab, and now we're on our page layer. And these layers just sit on top of each other. But depending on what we're putting onto the site, we need to consider whether it's something that's specific to the page, then we put it on our page layer, or if it's something we want to see on every page of the site, then we choose our theme layer. So that is the first most important element of the site builder. We always need to consider what layer we're on, and we can see what layer we're on by the, um, the, the, the tab that's selected is orange rather than green. Um, so the selected tab is orange. So in this case, we're on the home page, so that's selected in orange, and we're on the page layer of the home page. So that's layers, that's the most um, important aspect to get to grips with with the site builder. Let's just close that panel for now. Uh, and let's look at the other areas of the site builder. So here we have at the top the uh, site builder toolbar, and what we have is various icons here, um, which represent the widgets or fo website functionality of our site. So the first one being article. So we can simply drag and drop these onto the page. When we hover over there, we can see it's highlighted in orange. So this is an article which is where we put our text. So it, uh, an article on the page or even a header we can use for example we can drag and drop and then resize these to the size we want and then we can just double click to put text in so I'll, I'll come back to that in a second let's just cover off the, the, L, the different widgets that we have so after article we have image so if I wanted an image on the page I can simply drag and drop that and move that around and resize that to the size of the image I want as well as images we have monetization, so if I wanted some Google adverts, I can put those on the page as well. We also have videos, as I mentioned before, social elements, menus, and what we should call shapes, which I'll come back to, and HTML. Now, these two are really our advanced functions, and we'll come back to those once I've described the rest of the site builder. So as, long, as well as our widgets here, we also have a preview button so we can preview the site live as users will see it rather than in this design view and also our site settings so this is where we can manage our external accounts um, and our analytics and all of the kind of information that we need to manage our account later on so this is the toolbar and we also have on the left hand side here is the the commission site and logo which when we click will take us back to manage all our sites Below the toolbar, we have our page menu options. So as we can see here, automatically when we create a new site, by default we'll have our home page and also our contact us page. 
if we have more pages here, the tabs will appear, and we have these two options. If there's more than four, that we can navigate the scroll left and right to see the other pages that we've added on the site. So that is our essential our toolbar and our and our menu, our tab menu. Obviously, we've covered off. We have layers, our theme layer and our page layer, and then finally, everything within the square we see here is our design area for both our theme and page layers. So right now we have our page, so for example if we wanted to add a video to here and we wanted the page to be slightly longer, we choose our page tab and we choose the page height. So I'm going to put a page height of 2000 in here. Now another important aspect from an SEO perspective is we have all the page names here. Now what we actually know is that we're going to be targeting Lula push chairs. So what we can what we can do is just put in the details, those details, so our page name will in fact be Lula Push Chairs. And then we can choose to save those details. So here we are, we've changed the page hat now to 2000. This is the Lula Push Chair page is going to be our home page and the page is going to be active. Now we've saved those details so we can close our attributes tab. We've got our image here, we've got our article there, we've got our monetization. Now let's add the video. So again, simply dragging and dropping. Now the next element, the next important aspect of site building is that any of these widgets that we've added, regardless of what type they are, we can simply right click and here we get the widget menu for that specific widget that we've clicked. So in this case, the, the, the YouTube video, and I can choose to edit that. And here we see the panel come up specifically for the YouTube video. So what I can do now is you can either enter a YouTube ID if I already know a video that I would like to feature on my site. Alternatively, I can click Find YouTube Video. So in this case, Lula Push Chair. And here we see lots of videos about the Lula Push Chair. So I'm going to choose this one because it's got a good thumbnail of the Push Chair. And then click that and then choose Update. And now I'm going to close the tab panel. So now that's our video updated. We don't see that in the design view, the, the final video, um, but we will see that on the live site. So here we see we've added some content, and um, what I'm going to do is actually add some, some real content to the article here. So again, I'm going to choose to right click, and I'm going to choose to edit. And here, what I can do is I can search for, an, if I type it incorrectly, I'm going to search for an existing article about my keyword, in this case, push chairs. Now, these articles that we have returned from our search, these are already written articles which we're going to use as a basis to rewrite our articles. Now it's very important that we have unique content as we cover off in our modules, um, but rather than starting from scratch, it may be useful to find a, find an article and then rewrite it or rewrite elements of that as we need as we need only 50% unique article. So simply clicking the title will then populate the article, as you can see here, into our article widget. Once we've chosen that, we can simply choose update, and here we can see the full article. And obviously what we can see is the article is bigger than the space we allowed, and so really what we need to do is make some room for, for, the, for the article. Now we simply do that just by dragging and dropping and moving our existing widgets we've already placed on the page, and here we can see now we have our article, we have our monetization, we have our image, and we have our video. Now obviously, the image we have here is just a template, is a, a holder for an image we can upload. So again, choosing right click and edit, we can choose to enter a URL here directly, or upload one from our desktop. So that is the basics of using the various different widgets. Now, before I, I, I put a, a title widget, uh, a text widget here for a title, now what I'm actually going to do is remove that. So simply right clicking it and choosing delete, it removes that. And the reason I'm going to do that is because as I mentioned at the top of this video, the, we, have two, we have two layers and really a title for a page, which is going to be the domain name, so it's a site title, should really be on every page. So really that should be on our theme layer. So simply choosing the theme layer allow us to do that. Now, as we can see, the page has gone completely blank now. We've lost all of that content, which is here. So that is because everything is, all of that content is on our page layer. So when we switch to the theme layer, 
that all just hides away because we're just concentrating on the theme. Now I'm actually going to choose a different theme. So simply choosing the select a theme option will bring up a list of all the different themes that um, you, we've created by default or if we have any themes we've created ourselves they will be here and we see this is a new site so we don't have any themes available yet but what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this um, simple theme here and see that loads up um, and I'm going to so we're still on our theme layer so what we're doing now is um, creating things that are going to be on every page of the site I'm going to show you another tab here which is our shape and simply resize and create that as you feel fit um, and I'm going to right click and edit that and I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to choose white in this case and I'm also going to give it a board radius let's say of 20 and update that so here we see we've got a nice shape there which is going to be used as a nice focal area for in this case our title and these these shapes are great for designing and building a nice looking site and we can use them in a whole host of ways for framing adverts, framing menus, um, and, and you know, let your creativity go crazy. So in this case, I'm just going to put the site title. So get my article, I'm going to resize that to that size. And obviously, it's uh, Lula push chance in this case. Let me select that. And here we see within the article, I can choose to give it various different colors, for example, I don't want maybe red. I can choose different fonts, different sizes, and all of those great things. Once I'm finished with that, I can choose update. And here we have our site title. Obviously, that's on our theme, so that's going to appear on every page. Now, within our theme, we, once we've made some changes, I'm going to call this now Lula and save theme. And that will um, save that within our theme options. Now here we can see we've got lots of theme settings. So these are all the settings for this specific theme. So if we're creating a theme from scratch, we can use all of these different settings. So the body, the outer, the header, for example. So here we have in our current theme, this uh, nice header graphic, which here we can see is, is specified here. And um, we can see the size of that. And then we've got the contents, our content area is white. Our body is this nice blue color. And so you can see that's all specified here. We don't need to necessarily change that because we've selected a stock standard theme. If we wanted to get into more advanced options, then we can go, go through and select all these. So we've saved our theme. Now, because we've selected a different theme, obviously this has a bigger header than the previous one. So we now need to resize and move around our elements so they fit nicely in our current theme. So let's just resize those for now. And then we can save our page. Obviously, I haven't put any care in this. I haven't rewritten the article. I haven't actually uploaded any real images at this point because I don't have any. I will go through and do those a bit. I'm just creating this to show you the various different functions of the site builder. Once we've saved all of that, we can simply click the preview button. Now we can see it's prompting us to, are you going to view the site? Would you like to save all the changes? Now, I think I had saved them all, but just in case, no harm, I'm going to choose yes and save again. And now that site will load in the browser window as a user would see it. And here we see we have our content. We have our Google advert that we dropped in. Here we have our holder for where we would add an image. And finally, mm -hmm. and finally we have our video. That we're seeing obviously which we can click and play so that is the site builder in a nutshell so we can close that down and we go back to our site builder so finally once we've saved everything we've previewed it and we're happy and we've added some real images and real content we can go and go back and choose to simply go back to our main commission siphon we choose the commission siphon logo here in the top left hand corner